Welcome to our channel Free Knowledge. As you have landed upon this video, I believe you are interested in learning the PCB designing. And if you are especially working in the field of hardware designing or any hardware department of any company, then this is the skill that basically you must have the PCB designing skill. So, uh, what we will be covering in this tutorial is a very basic of what exactly is the PCB and why should you use it. And uh, throughout, the throughout the series of this tutorial, we will be learning a particular software, which is a multi-SIM and multi-board, which is a national instruments uh, software that we will learn how to uh, design the PCB on the software. So, okay, let's get started. So basically, uh, I'll start with what exactly is the PCB. So PCB is basically the abbreviation of a printed circuit boards and uh, you, the picture that you see on the right side is basically that you ever will see in your daily life it's in your laptop it's in your mobile phone it's in your television so basically it's everywhere but uh, it's hardly we uh, recognize that it's there so it's basically nothing but a thick board uh, circuit board which allows the electrical components to rest on it and uh, uh, there are copper traces on that uh, on the PCB which uh, which makes the components to connect with each other like just you can see this is the one component and uh, from this pin you can see there is one connection going on from here to some another component so that's what basically PCB is and uh, getting to the point that why do we use PCB is basically it's a compact in a size and basically it saves the wiring if you compare this both uh, of the pictures like this one on the right side and the, the picture of this jumbled wire is basically what's the difference between PCB and uh, the normal circuits uh, that you see. You can see it's a quite a jumbled up and it's difficult to uh, know that what exactly going on. So that's why we use the PCB and other things in the mentioning is that it's easy to repair if something goes wrong in the PCB and easy to diagnose into the PCBs. It has a firm connection because every component is firmly soldered on the PCB. So it's quite difficult to uh, get any component out of it. And basically it has a less electric noise as you may know if you're working in the hardware uh, side of the field. It's a reliable and basically you can, uh, you can work on the PCB and it can work for years. Basically it has a life of that. So what are basically the types of PCB. So as you can see in the picture that uh, this is a single sided PCB. So why we call it a single sided PCB is because as you can see that these are the traces that are going from here to over here and these traces are only on the one side of the PCB. If I flip this PCB then there will be nothing other copper traces like this. So uh, it's only on the one side so that's why we call it as a single sided PCB and next type is double sided PCB so this is the only one PCB that uh, I'm showing you from the both sides so as you can see in this picture that these are the copper traces on the one side but in this picture you will see that uh, it's quite actually difficult to see the traces but as you can see these are a uh, few uh, golden lines that you will see on this part of the PCB and this part of the PCB as well. So that means that the copper traces are on the both side of the PCB. So that's why we call it as a double sided PCB. And the next part is a multi layer PCB. So it's nothing but uh, it has a multiple layer of the boards. So basically when you see the multi layer PCB it will exactly look like the same as this one or this one but uh, it has uh, it has a multiple layers on it like you can see that basically this is the copper copper uh, copper lines over here there will be copper lines on the bottom of this one over here as well and bottom of this one so basically there are multiple layers that are stacked up together which you won't see when it is stacked up but they are there basically and uh, this copper uh, traces are connected from one layer to another layer via wires or holes that we will cover up in the next tutorials. So 
when you are designing the PCB, so there are basically two main parts that you have to go through. The first is a schematic. So let's say this is the component that you will be using in your PCB, which is a package of SO16. It means uh, it has a particular uh, length, um, the pins are of a particular size and all that. So the representation of this component in the schematic looks like uh, looks something like this uh, with a component name U1. So basically if you wanted to connect uh, number one pin to some another component, then you have to connect uh, from this pin, one pin, to some another uh, another component's pin. So you have to just connect the wire from here to over there. So that's how it basically works. So when you complete the schematic, you have to turn it into the layout designing. And how exactly the layout designing looks is like this. So as you may see in the schematic, uh, the SO16, this component looks like this and uh, in layout designing it looks like this. So this is the part layout designing is basically where you uh, route the PCB. Routing is basically uh, how you uh, place the traces of the copper as you can see over here. These are the copper traces over here like this one, like this one and that you design in the layout designing. So from here you will be taking the copper traces to some another to some another component. So when you complete the schematic, it will look something like this. Um, as you can see that uh, this is one component, AD7745, and it has a multiple pins starting from one to 16. And uh, the components are connected through these green wires from here to some another component like this one, to R8. So one to R8, uh, this connection is made by this wire. So that's how we complete the schematic and when you complete the schematic it will turn into uh, when you turn into the layout designing it will look something like this. So these uh, yellow wires that you are seeing from here to here you don't make it in the layout designing you make it in the schematic but when you uh, transfer that schematic into layout designing it will automatically show these lines over here so that you, it will be easier for you to know that from which pin um, the connection has to be made from which pin to which pin. So you, you now you know that you have to connect this pin and this pin. So you will just connect it uh, easily. So let's see when the PCB, when you complete this uh, traces drawing from here to here and all that, placing it on, uh, placing it on uh, the PCB the final product will look something like this. So you will see that these are the wires that I have drawn from here to here, uh, from here to here. So it's quite um, at the point easy to, I guess, understand at how exactly the PCB is working. So as I said, there are two parts, schematic, which looks something like this. The layout designing, at first it looks like this, and then at the end, when you complete the traces and all, it will look something like this. So I think that was the quite introduction. I will see you in the next tutorial. Till then, please subscribe to our channel, Free Knowledge. And all right, see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.